So guys, this shop is owned by a Somalia and he's selling and living in South Africa illegally. We all know that South Africa is actually against foreigners living, working or selling in their country illegally. Now for those of you that will be so fast to condemn or judge South Africans for closing down the shop. Now let me explain. If you have been following me on the videos I've been posting, I've been uploading, you will notice that I've been um uploading videos where illegal uh, foreigners living in South Africa, those that own spaza shops, especially Somalia, they are selling poison. When I mean poisonous um, baby food, in fact, poisonous snacks, poisonous food. Are you getting it? And this has been unaliving children, especially South African children. There's no way that we don't get report that South African kids, South African babies get unalived after eating um, snacks bought from Spaza shops or Somalia Spaza shops, right? So, a few weeks ago, we got the news that six kids um, got unalived after eating um, snacks bought from a Spaza shops. And two weeks ago, we got uh, same news that babies got unalived after eating expired baby food bought from Spaza shops owned by Somalia. And I think last week, two babies yeah two babies got on alive after eating um expired baby food like these are the ones i know i'm not even talking about the ones i do not know or the ones i haven't heard about right and the south african government took it upon them to make it mandatory that if you must own a spaza shop you must be documented yes you must be documented because um, most of these people when they discover that a child has been on alive like after eating um a certain food pot from their shop and the child gets on alive majority of them when they hear such news they run away are you getting it so even when the citizen or the government come to their shop they won't see anyone in that shop so um the government now took it upon them to make it uh mandatory to make it compulsory that if you must own a spaza shop in south africa that you must be documented you must uh stay and work or sell in the country legally there's nothing like illegal foreigners selling um anything anymore so when, you, when when such thing happens they will know where to find you so that you can explain more about the food that um been, that is being bought from you right that is being bought from the foreigner and the foreigner can also explain where he got such food that is uh killing the children right so for me i sincerely want to appreciate uh south african government and south african citizens for not um taking laws into their hands like a lot has happened even the ones i've posted here and the ones i haven't posted and the ones i did not even post right good um, I sincerely want to commend South African citizens for not taking laws into their hands because it would have been the other way around. Just a um, few days ago, I saw a video where illegal foreigner, like illegal foreigner selling um, toilet water, like toilet water i i couldn't even watch the video properly like i couldn't even um take a look at such uh trash are you getting it then the person is um selling it and south africans are not even aware that the water that they are buying that this is actually where the the illegal foreigner is getting it from or was getting it from now my question is this why are people so mean why are people so heartless like why are they doing this something they know they can't even do in their own country why are they doing this did they not even travel to south africa to to um better their life why are they behaving as if they they, they have um they have an ulterior motive against south africans why are they why are they behaving as if um they they, they are in south africa in, in on a mission how can someone allow you into his home and your intention is to wipe out the entire family like why and and when these people react then africans in fact i think i think is um it's always africans that crucify south africans because i haven't seen um whites in their own country or in their own continent uh, condemning south africans it has always been we africans that are condemning our own brothers and sisters even without hearing them out even without coming close to them to know what is going on in their country to know if we can even tolerate one third of what those people are tolerating and majority of those that are condemning South Africans haven't even been to South Africa before. Like they, they don't even have time to listen to South African news. They don't even have that time to, to, to listen to anything that has to do with South Africans. No, they don't have that time. They don't even, they don't even like it. 
But any any negative news about South Africa, that is where you will see them. They will be the first to con like they will be the first to condemn everything, every damn thing about South Africa. But my question is this: these people you are condemning, how well do you know them? Like I sincerely want to know, how well do you know them? Um, do you have anyone living in South Africa legally? Maybe you don't. Like, how close are you with them? Are you speaking out of experience? Majority of you are not speaking out of experience. I've come across a lot of videos where I've seen um, Africans who were deported from South Africa and yet they were still in their country crying that they want to go back to South Africa, that they want to go back. To, like, these are Africans. I wouldn't want to start mentioning their countries. These are Africans. They are Blacks. After being deported, they are in their country and they are still crying that they want to go back to South Africa. So if South Africa is that bad, like the way most of you are painting South Africa, if South Africa is that bad and if the citizens are truly that bad, and why will you be why will you be crying that you want to go back to South Africa even after being deported? Why will you still be crying? Why don't you even think of going to somewhere else? Places like Europe, UK, America, like other places. Why do you still want to go back to the same people that you feel that oh they are this they are that they are wicked oh god they are this they're not human mm, they are jealous they're... why do you still want to go back there you guys are not telling us the truth you guys are not telling us the truth and from most of you that just grab anything any negative thing you hear about south africa you grab it you carry Hello, it on your head like my channel, sellers, if you're new here my it's like christmas shoe yeah it's like a uh, like christmas and dress without even so making it by without even um investigating to know right? about south africa investigation did not take cost you anything just come close make your findings to they are fond of singing. Why, like, why, why, time, like, why are, are those singing. people like this? Anywhere I really want to know. South Africans are just the best in Africa. Let me tell you. Anyway, South African citizens, so they, they are the that best. They formed choir, right? and one thing I like, love about them is has become part of them. You don't I don't get them. I really like you guys. Strong, they're strong people. I love them for who they are. And they're always happy. They are happy people. And I love them for that. So thank you guys for staying up to this moment. I still remain your girl, just cheesy. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. In case I post new videos, YouTube will always be you and please please, please stop skipping the advert at the end Africa of my videos please i'm begging you those and adverts are the things that give us the little sing. coins the little pain so sing. thank you so much like, and god bless you all